it is um, here at the main campus. It's Monday, February 22nd. We're on lesson 34, which is pilot. As you can see, there are four more lessons after today, and then we're gonna start our shoe boxes. So make sure you have that prepared and ready to roll. Um, we are gonna dive right in. We're gonna pray if you're in, um, if you're at the main campus, we're on our sixth day of Lent as well. Um, here's our prayer focus for fifth grade. Here's our prayer focus for sixth grade. So go ahead and pause please, and go to the Lord in prayer. All right, thanks for joining me. We're finishing up our book of Mark. We're headed to the final week of Christ's um, life here. You're going to go ahead and pause this video. We're on page 141. Uh, I believe it's 141. We are going to start with this one. It goes, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Go ahead and pause and fill out that verse for me. All right, let's go to our next one. It goes, then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said, I do a woe there. I do a woe when I do the that. Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up the cross and follow me. Go ahead and pause the video. Fill that out for me. All right, next one. On hearing this, Jesus said to them, it is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Go ahead and pause that and fill it out. All right, here is our most recent one. No, just kidding. We have another one. It goes, when Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms, placed his hands on them, and blessed them. Pause and fill it out. Okay, here we go. Two more verses. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Good. You could do it a couple ways. You could do down, up, down, up, down, up. Here we go. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. You got to get it in that order, guys. Last one. He said to them, he said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. I, instead of repeating them all, I just went right through. So let's try it again. Ready? The only repeat is going to be the first part in black. He said to them, he said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. Awesome. Okay, pause it, finish it. Why do we study the Bible? This is a pattern statement at the bottom of the page because close examination leads to a deeper understanding. Guys, today our question is right here. How is Pilate different than or similar to the chief? priests. This guy's name, it sounds like the pilot of a plane. His name is Pontius Pilate. He is the governor in Rome. Specifically, uh, you can find more details actually in the commentary of speci his specific role. We're going to either look at how he's different than or similar to the chief priests for our race. Um, and here's again our prompt. Just a review, we have an observation, interpretation, application. Here's our steps. Annotate and read, tell historical background writers, message, gospel truth, gospel in action. All right, let's keep going. Um, we're in Palestine. We are on this final day, Friday of the Passion Week, and we're right here when the chief priests rally the people to chant crucify him. Here is a video of what happened, and then we're going to read our text. chief priests, with the elders, the teachers of the law, and the whole Sanhedrin, made their plans. So they bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Are you the king of the Jews? asked Pilate. You have said so, Jesus replied. The chief priests accused him of many things. So again Pilate asked him, Aren't you going to answer? See how many things they are accusing you of? But Jesus still made no reply, and Pilate was amazed. Now, it was the custom at the festival to release a prisoner whom the people requested. 
A man called Barabbas was in prison with the insurrectionists who had committed murder in the uprising. The crowd came up and asked Pilate to do for them what he usually did. Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? asked Pilate. Knowing it was out of self-interest that the chief priests had handed Jesus over to him. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd to have Pilate release Barabbas instead. What shall I do then with the one you call the king of the Jews? Pilate asked them. Crucify him! they shouted. Why? What crime has he committed? asked Pilate. But they shouted all the louder. Crucify him! Wanting to satisfy the crowd, Pilate released Barabbas to them. He had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. All right, here's what I'd like you to do now. I want you to read the text together as a class. Your teacher will call on individuals. You're going to read the scripture, and then you can continue the video. Go ahead and pause the video. Okay, let's dive into our retell. What was the text mostly about? You should answer this in one sentence. The text was mostly about. Go ahead and work on that together. Um, one suggestion, teachers, is to have the students all write it silently and then have students share out. Go ahead. Okay, we're going to hop on to the next question, which is our race. Using your annotations, answer the following prompt. Now, we didn't do it our annotations today, so let's answer this prompt. How is Pilate different than or similar to the chief priests? I'd love to hear a couple people answer this. You're going to answer like this. Pilate was different because or Pilate was similar because. Go ahead, pause the video and discuss some of those options. Great. Now you can either pick one as a class, you can do it individually, follow what your teacher says, or I'm going to walk you through one here. Teachers, you can determine um, what that looks like. Pause the video if you're going to do it on your own, otherwise I'm going to continue. In our last class, students said this. They said Pilate was different than the chief priest because he knew Jesus was innocent, but the chief priest thought Jesus was guilty. That's the R and the A of race. It's responding or restating the question. How is Pilate different? Pilate was different because, and it's answering it. You can see the answer in yellow. Go ahead and copy that down. Pause the video. Okay, now we need our C for sight. Race is R-A-C-E. We need to cite, how do we know Pilate thought Jesus was innocent? Where do we find that? One of my students in our last class said, according to verses 13 and 14, Pilate said, why, what evil has he done? This is one quote here because I'm actually quoting scripture, but this is a single quote because it's embedded inside the double quotes. Whenever a person is talking, we usually put quotation marks. Since I already have one here because I'm quoting scripture, I then make the one inside one quote. So here's our one quote at the end and our double quote right here. Now pause the video. Awesome. I'm glad you copied that down. Now we're at the end where we're explaining. So what does this tell us? It tells us scholars why what evil has he done. The fact that Pilate says that proves that he thinks Jesus was innocent. This proves that Pilate thought Jesus was innocent. Go ahead and copy that down. Pause the video. All right, once you have that done, all you're going to do for this is look at the commentary, find one fact in there. It might be a fact about the Sanhedrin. Some people say Sanhedrin. It might be a fact about Pilate, where he's from. Write down one fact in here and where you got it from. Go ahead, pause the video. Great. Our writer's message is going to be a theological principle. This is a universal statement that starts with if or when. I'm going to say for mine something about um, peer pressure because Pilate listened to the crowd. So I'm going to say um, if people listen to crowds or if people listen to the loudest voice, they don't always make the best decision. I might say something like when we listen to uh, what people say, even if it's wrong, we might 
be getting ourselves into trouble. Give a general statement using if or when based on the passage. Go ahead, pause the video. Okay, the last piece, uh, this is the wrong scripture here, but what you're going to be doing for this scripture is you're going to be writing uh, what is true about Jesus from the scripture, and then what are you going to do differently? And I gave you a sentence stem here. Today I will be blank like Jesus by blank. Okay, when you're done with that, you are finished. There's no exit ticket today. Have a great day, scholars.